Artificial intelligence, AI, is one of the most exciting and rapidly advancing fields in technology today. But it has a long and winding history stretching back to ancient times. This audiobook will explore the origins of the dream of intelligent machines, the birth of modern AI research, the pioneers who shaped the field, the different approaches pursued over the decades, the setbacks and breakthroughs, and the applications that have emerged. Join us on a journey through the history of one of humankind's oldest dreams, which is transforming our world today. Chapter 1, Gods and Myths of Ancient Automatons In ancient Greece, the dream of intelligent machines first sparked the public imagination. The bustling streets buzzed with myths of self-moving tripods, giant bronze guardians, and artificial beings brought to life through divine powers. Visionary engineers like Archytas pioneered early robotics and automation, foreshadowing future possibilities. As mathematician Johannes Klepper described, the ancient Greeks constructed temperamental gods to paint a philosophical picture of humankind. So too would we construct intelligent machines as an artificial reflection of natural intelligence. Elaborate automatons across ancient cultures fed this impulse for self-operating devices imbued with directed purpose and agency. These legends and inventions planted early seeds, suggesting that non-biological beings could mimic life. Consider the remarkable tale of Daedalus and his creation, the wooden automaton Talos, an ancient Greek myth. Talos was a giant man of bronze, created by the god Hephaestus and tasked with guarding the island of Crete. He roamed the shores, hurling boulders and approaching ships and scaring off potential invaders. The idea of a lifelike, intelligent machine designed to serve a specific purpose dates back to antiquity. From ancient Greece, our journey through time takes us eastward to the Han Dynasty in China. Around 25 AD, inventor Zhang Heng designed remarkable mechanical devices that marveled observers. His celestial globe, an ancient planetarium, used gears and water power to model the cosmos. It stood as a testament to the early fascination with the idea of machines mirroring the movements of the heavens. Across the chasm of civilizations, we find common threads of creativity. People of different cultures and times express their aspirations for manufactured beings and objects imbued with directed purpose and agency. The ancient myths, stories, and inventions we've encountered all speak to a common human desire, the aspiration to create beings and objects that could mimic life and, to some extent, intelligence. These early glimpses into the possibility of artificial life laid the foundation for the future of artificial intelligence. Chapter 2, Gears of Reasoning in the 1600s. By 1642, French mathematician Blaise Pascal had built an arithmetic calculating machine using precisely calibrated gears and dials. Gottfried Leibniz improved on its design, envisioning reductions in human error and ambiguity through thinking machines. Philosophers like Descartes and Hobbes modeled human reasoning as the mechanical manipulation of symbols via logical rules. The human mind operates akin to a machine obeying the deterministic laws of physics and mathematics, Hobbes proposed. The 17th century was a time of mechanical ingenuity and burgeoning mathematical exploration. In France, Blaise Pascal unveiled his arithmetical machine, known as the Pascaline, designed to assist his father in calculating taxes. This early mechanical calculator, with its intricate system of gears, allowed for more accurate and efficient computation. It was a precursor to the digital machines of the future. Inspired by Pascal's work, the German mathematician and philosopher Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz expanded on the concept of mechanical calculation. He envisioned a universal calculating machine that could manipulate symbols and perform various types of calculations. Leibniz's machine, known as the Step Reckoner, was capable of performing multiplication, division, and even calculating square roots. It was a feat of engineering and logic that laid the groundwork for future developments in computing. Leibniz's vision went beyond mere computation. He believed that such machines could not only perform arithmetic but could also be used for logical reasoning. He introduced the idea of a universal language of symbols and a calculus of reasoning that could be used to solve complex problems. This concept, known as Leibnizian calculus, laid the foundation for symbolic logic and the development of artificial intelligence. 
Descartes, another prominent figure of the 17th century, explored the concept of automata in his work. He believed that animals and humans operated as machines, following natural laws and mechanical principles. This view challenged traditional notions of the soul and consciousness and contributed to the philosophical underpinnings of mechanistic thinking. As you explore the historical context of the 1600s, you'll find that this era was not only a time of great intellectual ferment, but also a period of burgeoning interest in the possibilities of mechanization and automated calculation. The seeds of artificial intelligence were sown as visionaries of the time imagined machines that could not only compute but also reason, following the rules of logic and mathematics. Chapter 3, Weaving Computational Dreams in the Age of Steam The 19th century brought with it the Industrial Revolution, a period of profound technological change that would shape the future of artificial intelligence. It was a time when machinery, powered by steam, drove the engines of industry, transforming the way goods were produced and transported. In the midst of this industrial fervor, a new wave of creativity and innovation emerged, laying the groundwork for the development of thinking machines. You step into a bustling textile factory in 19th century England. The air is filled with the deafening clatter of machinery, and workers tend to use enormous looms to weave intricate patterns into fabrics. This is the heart of the Industrial Revolution, where automation and mechanization have revolutionized the textile industry. Amidst the whirl of spinning wheels and clanking gears, you come across a remarkable invention, the Jacquard loom. Named after its inventor, Joseph Marie Jacquard, this revolutionary machine used punch cards to control the weaving of intricate patterns. Each punch card represented a specific pattern, and by arranging these cards in a particular sequence, the loom could produce a wide variety of designs. The Jacquard loom was a pioneering example of early automation and a precursor to the concept of computer programming. It used a series of punch cards to instruct the machine on how to weave intricate patterns. This innovative use of punched cards as a form of input would later influence the development of early computers and programming languages. As you delve deeper into the world of 19th century inventors, you encounter the visionary ideas of Charles Babbage. Babbage, a British mathematician and engineer, is often regarded as the father of the computer. He conceived of a groundbreaking device known as the analytical engine. The analytical engine was designed to perform complex calculations using punched cards, similar to the Jacquard loom. The analytical engine was a marvel of engineering and mathematical innovation. It featured a central processing unit, memory storage, and a control unit that could execute a series of instructions. Babbage envisioned it as a universal machine capable of performing any mathematical operation. It was a truly revolutionary concept, and its design laid the foundation for modern computing. But the story doesn't end with Babbage. One of the most remarkable aspects of the analytical engine is that it had a visionary collaborator who would later play a pivotal role in the history of computing, Two, Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace, an English mathematician and writer, recognized the potential of Babbage's analytical engine as more than just a calculator. She saw it as a machine that could be programmed to perform a wide range of tasks, including creating music and art. Lovelace's insights were so profound that she is often credited with writing the world's first computer program. In a letter to Babbage, she wrote, The analytical engine weaves algebraic patterns just as the Jacquard loom weaves flowers. Lovelace's visionary ideas about the potential of computing went beyond mere number crunching and laid the groundwork for the concept of software programming. The 19th century was a time of remarkable innovation, where the convergence of industrial machinery, mathematical insights, and visionary thinking paved the way for the development of intelligent machines. The dreams of inventors like Babbage and Lovelace were seeds that would later sprout into the field of artificial intelligence. Chapter 4, Electronic Brains Emerge in the Shadow of World War II World War II was a time of global upheaval and conflict, but it was also a period of intense technological advancement. The urgent demands of the war effort drove innovation in fields ranging from cryptography to electronic computing. This tumultuous era was a crucible for the emergence of the first electronic brains, setting the stage for the future of artificial intelligence. 
Imagine stepping into the heart of one of the most secretive and influential code-breaking facilities of World War II, Bletchley Park. This historic site, nestled in the English countryside, was the central hub for British code-breakers and mathematicians who were tasked with deciphering encrypted German communications. As you explore the wartime landscape of Bletchley Park, you encounter the brilliant mind of Alan Turing. Turing, a British mathematician, logician, and computer scientist, played a pivotal role in the development of modern computing and artificial intelligence. His work on the Enigma machine, a device used by the Germans to encrypt their messages, was instrumental in breaking the codes and gaining valuable intelligence during the war. Turing's groundbreaking ideas extended beyond code breaking. He is often regarded as one of the founding fathers of computer science and artificial intelligence. In his seminal paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, published in 1950, Turing introduced the concept of a universal machine that could simulate the behavior of any other machine. One of his most famous contributions to the field of artificial intelligence is the Turing test, a thought experiment designed to determine a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior indistinguishable from that of a human. Turing's visionary ideas and contributions continue to shape the field of AI to this day. As you move through the corridors of Bletchley Park, you witness the birth of electronic computing. The war's urgent need for advanced calculations and simulations drove the development of the first general purpose, programmable electronic computers. One such marvel was the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, or ENIAC. ENIAC, often referred to as the giant brain, was a behemoth of a machine comprised of thousands of vacuum tubes. It was capable of performing complex calculations with electronic speed and precision. Its first major task was to calculate artillery trajectories, a critical component of the war effort. ENIAC's calculations significantly improved the accuracy of artillery targeting. The development of ENIAC marked a significant milestone in the history of computing. It was one of the first machines that could be reprogrammed to perform a wide range of tasks, making it a precursor to modern computers. Grace Hopper, a pioneering computer scientist, worked on the early software for ENIAC and later became known for her contributions to programming languages and the development of COBOL. The wartime urgency for advanced computations and the success of machines like ENIAC laid the foundation for the post-war era of electronic computing. The giant brains of the 1940s and 1950s were harbingers of a new age in which electronic machines would continue to evolve and shape the landscape of artificial intelligence. Chapter 5, A New Field Emerges at Dartmouth In 1956, computer scientist John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence at the influential Dartmouth conference, helping launch AI as a new field. Early optimism soared as programs successfully played chess, proved theorems, and solved algebra. Marvin Minsky believed the key challenge was imparting common sense to machines. In three to eight years, we will have a machine with the intelligence of a human being, he predicted in 1958. But the difficulty of reasoning tasks soon tempered expectations. AI pioneer Herbert Simon remarked, there are now in the world machines that think, that learn, and that create. Moreover, their ability to do these things is going to increase rapidly until, in a visible future, the range of problems they can handle will be coextensive with the range to which the human mind has been applied. Despite the enthusiasm, it became apparent that replicating human intelligence in machines was more challenging than initially thought. The field of AI soon experienced its first major setback, which would become known as the AI winter. Funding and enthusiasm waned as the initial promises of AI seemed further from realization. But amidst these challenges, pioneering thinkers like John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, and Nathaniel Rochester pushed forward. They laid the groundwork for the development of early AI programs and established AI as a legitimate field of study. The Dartmouth Conference's focus on machine learning and self-improvement resonated for decades to come. Chapter 6, The Waxing and Waning of AI Winters The history of AI has witnessed cycles of elevated expectations followed by setbacks. The term AI winter was coined to describe periods of reduced funding and progress. Launching the first winter, the 1966 ALPAC report found little progress in AI natural language processing. 
AI's pioneers, undeterred, still believed that the road to human-level intelligence was long but not impassable. They understood that AI was a journey fraught with challenges, and they were willing to persist. In the 1970s, there was a glimmer of hope as discoveries and knowledge representation ushered in a revival. AI researchers started developing expert systems that could mimic specialized decision-making. This resurgence was short-lived, and the field plunged into the second AI winter in the 1980s as the limitations of expert systems became apparent. The cyclical nature of AI progress continued into the 1990s. Neural networks, a concept initially explored in the 1950s, made a comeback, breaking through and recognizing patterns in data. IBM's Deep Blue famously defeated chess champion Garry Kasparov, showing that AI was capable of competing at the highest levels of human intellect. The 2000s brought the internet boom, accelerating AI progress with big data and increasing computing power. AI became not only practical but also profitable. The deep learning breakthrough enabled algorithms to teach themselves through experience, akin to how human minds learn. The field experienced a renaissance, with AI springing to life once again. Yet, throughout these ups and downs, one thing remained clear. The dream of achieving human-like general intelligence in machines persisted. The cycles of boom and bust, each higher than the last, created a continuous learning process, driving AI research forward. Chapter 7, The Long Road Marched by Many Minds The advancement of AI relies on the accumulated insights of generations of pioneers. Joseph Weizenbaum's Eliza Chatbot, John Holland's Genetic Algorithms, Jeffrey Hinton's Neural Networks, Judea Pearl's Probabilistic Approaches, and Yoshua Benjo's Deep Learning, each contributor provided key conceptual breakthroughs. In the 1950s, pioneers like Alan Newell, Herbert Simon, and Marvin Minsky formalized concepts for search, knowledge representation, and reasoning. These early visionaries set the stage for AI research to come. Joseph Weizenbaum's creation of the Eliza chatbot in the 1960s was a breakthrough in natural language processing. It could engage users in conversations that mimicked the style of a Rogerian psychotherapist, demonstrating that machines could simulate human interaction. John Holland's work on genetic algorithms in the 1960s introduced the concept of using natural selection and genetics as a problem-solving technique for machines. This idea of evolution-inspired algorithms opened new possibilities for AI problem-solving. Jeffrey Hinton, a pioneer of neural networks, made significant contributions to the field of deep learning, allowing machines to learn from data and recognize complex patterns. His work in the 1980s laid the foundation for the deep learning revolution. Judea Pearl's probabilistic approaches in the 1980s introduced Bayesian networks, which enabled machines to reason under uncertainty. These probabilistic models greatly enhanced AI's ability to handle real-world complexity. Yoshua Benjo's research on deep learning in the 2000s advanced neural network architectures, making it possible for machines to learn and adapt through layers of processing. Deep learning success in various AI applications has transformed the field. This collaborative effort and the building of ideas across generations demonstrated that progress in AI arises not from long genius breakthroughs, but from the gradual accumulation of insights from many brilliant contributors. The torch passes through generations, unfolding toward the receding dream of artificial general intelligence. Chapter 8, Applied AI, From Lab to Life By the 21st century, AI had migrated from research experiments into practical applications that improved everyday life. AI was no longer confined to the academic realm, but had become deeply embedded in the fabric of modern society. Algorithms were employed to schedule flights, filter spam, match faces, translate languages, diagnose medical images, and more. These applications, often referred to as weak AI, excelled at specialized tasks, leveraging large datasets and vast computing power. AI has become an integral part of smartphones, cars, appliances, and even toys. Personal digital assistants like Siri and Alexa became household names. 
The sapient AI dreamers in the 1960s did not predict this commercial handy helper outcome, but we should be grateful for these sometimes creepy but often convenient AI apps and gadgets, wrote software historian Martin Campbell Kelly. AI wasn't replacing humans, but rather enhancing human capabilities and making life more convenient. While the notion of a conscious, thinking machine remained elusive, the promise of AI enhancing human abilities was being realized in numerous ways. The path to artificial general intelligence might be long and uncertain, but AI has already become an integral part of modern life. Before moving ahead, drop a like on this video to keep our team motivated for more such content. Chapter 9. The Deep Learning Big Bang The 2010s brought about the Deep Learning Big Bang. Artificial neural networks, a concept developed decades earlier, were supercharged by faster processors and larger datasets. Deep learning techniques enabled machines to recognize complex patterns in data, achieving human-level performance in a variety of tasks, such as image recognition, speech processing, game playing, and more. According to AI researcher Peter Stone, the recent success of deep learning techniques on hard AI problems suggests that continued research may deliver even more powerful capabilities. This era of AI innovation was marked by impressive accomplishments. Venture capital funding in AI startups skyrocketed, growing 20-fold within a decade, reflecting the intense business interest in the field. AI was becoming indispensable in analyzing vast datasets in fields as diverse as biomedicine, particle physics, meteorology, and more. The advances promised to fundamentally transform society, reshaping industries, creating new opportunities, and challenging our understanding of what machines could achieve. Despite the remarkable strides, the AI community acknowledged that true artificial general intelligence still lay beyond the horizon. Chapter 10, The Open Road to Artificial General Intelligence. Despite revolutionary progress, AI still remains specialized with general human level intelligence elusive. Machines cannot yet flexibly adapt to open-ended tasks or reason abstractly like humans. Yet the dream persists. The quest for AI is part of what forms us, human imagination, human knowledge, human development. It is a noble journey, wrote philosopher Daniel Crevier. Possible pathways to achieving artificial general intelligence were envisioned. Hybrid systems that combined rule-based logic with deep learning algorithms seemed promising. Quantum computing, with its potential to perform vast calculations at previously unimaginable speeds, offered another avenue to explore. However, concrete roadmaps to achieving artificial general intelligence remained unclear. The future held the promise of many surprises, some delightful, and perhaps others perplexing or unsettling. But the creativity driving this progress arose from the irrepressible human spirit and experience. The voyage to artificial general intelligence continued, and humanity embarked upon this path with determination and curiosity. AI, as the harbinger of human ingenuity and innovation, was propelling us toward an ever-evolving future. Chapter 11, Ethical Challenges in the Age of AI. The rise of AI has brought with it a host of ethical and moral questions. As machines took on more complex tasks, society grappled with how to ensure that these systems acted responsibly and fairly. One of the most significant ethical dilemmas surrounds the use of AI in autonomous systems. Self-driving cars, for instance, have the potential to reduce accidents and save lives. However, the decisions these vehicles made in life or death situations presented profound moral questions. Should a self-driving car prioritize the safety of its occupants or pedestrians? The issue of algorithmic bias also emerged. Machine learning models, when trained on biased data, could perpetuate societal inequalities. Biased algorithms used in hiring, lending, and law enforcement raised concerns about discrimination and fairness. Furthermore, the growing capabilities of AI raised concerns about unemployment. As machines took on more roles, many feared job displacement and its societal consequences. While AI had the potential to create new industries and opportunities, managing this transition was a significant challenge. Ethical AI also encompasses privacy concerns. 
The vast amount of data collected for AI training and decision-making prompted questions about who had access to this data and how it was being used. The field of AI ethics was born, aimed at addressing these challenges and ensuring that AI served humanity ethically and responsibly. Chapter 12, AI and Healthcare, From Diagnosis to Drug Discovery, AI's impact on healthcare was profound. It revolutionized medical diagnosis, making it more accurate and efficient. AI-driven medical imaging systems could detect diseases from x-rays, MRIs, and CT scans with remarkable precision. Drug discovery, traditionally a time-consuming and expensive process, was accelerated by AI. Machine learning models could analyze vast datasets of chemical compounds and predict potential drug candidates, reducing the time and cost associated with bringing new drugs to market. AI-powered chatbots and virtual health assistants offered real-time medical advice, improving healthcare accessibility and reducing the burden on medical professionals. In the field of genomics, AI plays a crucial role in interpreting vast amounts of genetic data, enabling personalized medicine, and advancing our understanding of genetic diseases. The integration of AI into healthcare has improved patient outcomes, enhanced early disease detection, and increased the efficiency of medical research. Chapter 13, AI and Education, Personalized Learning and Beyond. AI also had a transformative impact on education. Adaptive learning systems use AI algorithms to tailor educational content to individual students, allowing for a more personalized learning experience. Virtual tutors and chatbots assisted students in answering questions, providing explanations, and offering guidance. These AI-driven tools enhanced the learning process by offering support outside the traditional classroom setting. Moreover, AI analyzed data on student performance, helping educators identify struggling students and provide interventions to address their specific needs. This proactive approach improved student outcomes and reduced dropout rates. AI also played a crucial role in making educational content more accessible. Text-to-speech and speech recognition systems enabled students with disabilities to access educational materials. Translation tools facilitate learning for non-native speakers. The future of education is being shaped by AI, offering more inclusive, personalized, and effective learning experiences for students of all ages. Chapter 14, AI and the Creative Arts. AI's foray into the creative arts was met with both fascination and skepticism. While the notion of machines creating art seemed far-fetched, AI demonstrated remarkable capabilities in various artistic domains. In music composition, AI systems analyzed vast datasets of musical compositions to generate original pieces that replicated the styles of famous composers or created entirely new musical genres. AI-generated artworks also made headlines. Neural networks could generate images in the style of famous artists or blend various artistic influences to create unique visual pieces. In literature, AI models produced poetry and prose, emulating famous writers or crafting entirely original works. These experiments raised questions about the essence of creativity and whether AI could truly be called an artist. Artificial intelligence was both a tool for human creativity and a creative force in its own right, sparking ongoing discussions about the boundaries between human and machine artistry. Chapter 15, AI and Science Fiction and Popular Culture. As AI research continued to make strides in the real world, it also found its place in the realm of science fiction and popular culture. The human fascination with intelligent machines had already been kindled by ancient myths and historical figures. Now, science fiction authors and filmmakers will take this fascination to new heights. Authors like Isaac Asimov, in his Robot series, explored the concept of robotics and AI with the introduction of the three laws of robotics, which governed the behavior of robots and, in turn, highlighted the potential ethical challenges posed by intelligent machines. Asimov's work was influential not only in the realm of science fiction, but also in shaping discussions on AI ethics. In the 1968 film 2001, A Space Odyssey, director Stanley Kubrick introduced the world to Hell 9000, a sentient computer with a chillingly calm and intelligent demeanor. 
House eventual malfunction and the ensuing battle between man and machine added a new layer to the discussion on AI's potential dangers. The 1980s brought us the lovable and curious robot, R2-D2, and his companion, C-3PO, in the Star Wars franchise. These characters humanized AI, making them relatable and endearing to audiences around the world. The 1999 film The Matrix raised existential questions about the nature of reality and the potential consequences of creating AI entities that could simulate human experiences. It painted a dystopian picture of a world controlled by machines, sparking both fear and fascination. Throughout the decades, AI's portrayal in science fiction evolved, reflecting both the hopes and fears of society. These fictional representations often served as mirrors, reflecting our own concerns and aspirations. They asked us to consider what it means to create intelligent machines and how we should coexist with them. Chapter 16, Ethical and Philosophical Considerations As AI progressed, it became clear that its development raised profound ethical and philosophical questions. These questions were not limited to the realm of science fiction, but had real-world implications. One of the central ethical dilemmas in AI was the question of machine ethics. Could we instill moral principles and values in intelligent machines? The field of AI ethics seeks to address these concerns. Philosopher Nick Bostrom explored the potential risks of superintelligent AI in his book Superintelligence, Paths, Dangers, and Strategies. He raised the specter of a singleton, a single AI entity with unprecedented power and the challenges it could pose to humanity. The question of AI's impact on the workforce also became increasingly relevant. As automation and AI systems advanced, there were concerns about job displacement and the need for retraining the workforce. In 2014, physicist Stephen Hawking warned that advanced AI could become a threat to humanity if not properly controlled. His concerns added weight to the ongoing debate about AI safety and the need for research and alignment and value alignment. The principle of machine learning fairness emerged as an important concept. It focused on addressing biases in AI algorithms, ensuring that they treated all individuals fairly and impartially. Chapter 17, AI and Human Collaboration Despite the concerns surrounding AI, it became clear that its true potential could be realized through collaboration with humans. AI has the capacity to augment human abilities and assist in solving complex problems. In healthcare, AI systems are being used to analyze medical data, make diagnoses, and even assist in surgical procedures. These AI applications improve the accuracy and efficiency of healthcare, benefiting both patients and practitioners. In education, AI-powered tutoring systems could adapt to individual students' needs, providing personalized learning experiences. The use of AI in education promises to enhance access to quality education on a global scale. AI also finds applications in creative fields. Music composition, art generation, and even writing could be augmented by AI systems. These tools offered artists new ways to explore their creative potential. Businesses and industries worldwide have begun integrating AI into their operations. From customer service chatbots to supply chain optimization, we offer solutions to complex problems. Companies that embraced AI gained a competitive edge in the marketplace. Chapter 18, The Challenges of Ethical AI As AI became more integrated into society, the challenges of ethical AI became increasingly apparent. The need for responsible AI development and deployment was paramount. One of the key challenges was algorithmic bias. AI systems, when trained on biased data, could perpetuate and even exacerbate existing biases. Efforts to address this issue included the development of fair and unbiased algorithms and the implementation of guidelines for data collection and use. Transparency in AI decision-making became a central concern. As AI systems became more complex, it was often difficult to understand the reasoning behind their decisions. This lack of transparency raised questions about accountability and responsibility. Privacy concerns also emerged as AI systems collected and processed vast amounts of personal data. 
regulations and policies were developed to protect individuals' privacy and ensure that data was used responsibly. Another challenge was the potential for AI to be used maliciously. AI-powered deepfake technology, for example, allowed for the creation of convincing fake videos and audio recordings. These developments highlighted the need for safeguards against AI misuse. Chapter 19, AI in the 21st Century and Beyond The 21st century marked a new era for AI. It was a time of unprecedented progress and innovation. AI applications permeated almost every aspect of daily life, from healthcare to transportation to entertainment to finance. Self-driving cars became a reality, powered by AI systems that could navigate complex environments and make split-second decisions. These vehicles promised to revolutionize transportation and reduce accidents. AI-powered virtual assistants, like Siri and Alexa, became ubiquitous, providing voice-activated solutions to everyday tasks. They could answer questions, control smart homes, and even engage in casual conversation. AI's role in scientific discovery and research has expanded significantly. AI algorithms could analyze massive datasets, identifying patterns and trends that would have been impossible for human researchers to discern. From drug discovery to climate modeling, AI has accelerated progress. The field of natural language processing, NLP, has advanced, allowing AI systems to understand and generate human language with remarkable accuracy. Chatbots and language translation services improve communication and accessibility on a global scale. Before moving toward our next chapter, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Chapter 20, The Future of AI As AI continued to advance, the question of artificial general intelligence, AGI, loomed large. AGI, or human-level intelligence in machines, remained a challenging goal. While narrow AI excelled at specific tasks, it lacked the adaptability and versatility of human intelligence. Scientists and researchers speculated about the potential pathways to AGI. Some explored the idea of hybrid systems, combining AI and human intelligence to bridge the gap. Others looked to emerging technologies like quantum computing for a possible breakthrough. AI's impact on the job market remained a topic of discussion. While automation and AI could display certain roles, they also created new opportunities. Lifelong learning and risk killing became crucial for individuals to adapt to the changing job landscape. The debate over AI ethics and safety continued to evolve. International organizations, governments, and tech companies collaborated to establish guidelines and regulations to ensure AI's responsible development and deployment. In the unfolding future, AI holds the promise of addressing some of humanity's most pressing challenges, from healthcare to climate change. It also presented new ethical and philosophical questions that would require careful consideration future our silicon cells and so we've journeyed through centuries of imagination and innovation from ancient myths to the frontiers of ai in the 21st century the story of artificial intelligence is a testament to human curiosity creativity and our unending quest to understand and recreate the essence of our own minds ai in all its forms reflects our ever-evolving relationship with technology and our aspirations for the future it mirrors our hopes and fears, our desire to push the boundaries of what's possible, and our commitment to addressing the ethical and philosophical challenges that arise along the way. As AI progresses into the unfolding future, may we guide its course thoughtfully towards creativity over destruction, empowerment over obsolescence, and wisdom over chaos. The destination remains undefined, but the perpetual voyage holds meaning. Our machine dreams reflect our nature, let us go climbing together. Thank you for experiencing this journey through the ages, from the myths of ancient Greece to the dawn of AGI. AI, with its infinite potential and boundless challenges, remains an ever-present companion on our voyage through the uncharted waters of the future.